ஹாய் வெல்கம் நேர்களே நான் வெல் டிவிலேருந்து உங்கள் பவித்ரா பேசிட்டு இருக்கேன் இப்போ நான் பார்க் ஹயாட்டில் இருக்கேன் இங்கே கார்லேட்டர் கேன்சர் பற்றி நம்ம அப்பலோ ஹாஸ்பிட்டல்லேருந்து சீஃப் டாக்டர்ஸ் நிறைய டாக்டர்ஸ் அதை பற்றி எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ண போகிறாங்க ஸ்டேச்சூ தேங்க்யூ என் பேர் டாக்டர் வெங்கடேஷ் மணிகிருஷ்ணன் கன்சா பெருங்குடல் மற்றும் மலக்குடல் சிகிச்சை நிபுணர் third annual event and uh, awareness uh, uh, you know we do uh, year on year um, so the reason why we uh, call for this press meet is one primarily to create awareness on colorectal disease more importantly on colorectal cancer um, so colorectal disease are very common more than 40% of urban population will have colorectal symptoms at some point uh, symptoms are the problem is the symptoms are very similar between piles or hemorrhoids and colorectal cancer so often these symptoms are ignored and patients uh, due to lack of awareness and cultural reasons women don't want to reach out because of cultural reasons there's also a big problem of incontinence and pelvic floor problems among women and some men too again it's a very societal problem and women don't reach out so that's not very well addressed by society colorectal cancer in, in particular uh, you know uh, if patients come early we can treat them well uh, often the patients come to us in a very late stage and that's a huge problem because although the incidence is lower they come at an very advanced stage so if we create more awareness we can you know save these people uh, and more worryingly the trends are showing that incidence of colorectal cancer is rising and more so in young asian males having rectal cancer and that's becoming a big problem and we seeing that trend all across asia and we need to be you know uh, creating awareness among our young that you know not to ignore these symptoms The important thing is if we pick up these colon rectal cancers early we can cure the patients. So colorectal cancer the fourth most common cancer in worldwide third most common cancer in men worldwide. Current incidence is low in India but they come in an advanced stage so that's the problem. What are the reasons aging population urbanized lifestyle low physical activity uh, you know smoking alcohol you know uh, poor diet all these things are causative agents. Uh, so the incidence itself is 400,000 compared to the US or the UK where it's 35 per 100,000 uh, but the problem again as i said is that patients seek help late because they ignore their symptoms initially that's where i need help from everybody from colleagues friends members of the press to create this awareness so that people understand that if you have symptoms you know and it's not settling ask for help uh, as i said it's the the incidence of colorectal cancer rising particularly in young asian males with rectal cancer so you know we need to spread this information out so how are we helping as a group as a hospital group as uh, as uh, you know my colleagues from around the world uh, we we try to create awareness through programs like this we we have an annual symposium which is happening this weekend uh, we spread the word uh, we use social media extensively to for our patients to reach out for our colleagues to reach out uh, so month of march is celebrated as colorectal cancer awareness month all around the world and we try to do programs related to this so that we talk about it so usually there's a stigma speaking about bottoms and you know your 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 uh, morning habits but i think it's important to to sort of create that awareness if something is not right you know you need to get it checked so again prevention is important i got the public need to have a very healthy lifestyle uh, exercise regularly eat a lot of fruit and vegetable and cut down on red meat and you know uh, cut down on alcohol or white smoking the most important symptoms to look out for is blood in the stool so blood blood in the motion uh, change in bowel habits uh, diarrhea or constipation lasting longer than 6 weeks if you feel a lump in the abdomen and anemia or unexplained weight loss these are the main symptoms now if you look at blood in the stools i think that's the most common symptom and you normally what happens is uh, you know pa- patient will think it's hemorrhoids or piles and they will take some self medication or see a local doctor and just Oh, most of the time ignore it but important if things don't settle in 6 weeks time you need to go see a specialist or you know get it checked and that's, that's very important information to uh, to hand out so you can get screen uh, you know if there's a family history of colorectal cancer or if you have these symptoms more than 6 weeks simple, the most important thing is a good, good rectal examination for you can also have a fecal occult blood test with a colonoscopy or a ct scan is a common test used for screening Uh, what are doctors doing to help we 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 are again you know interacting with each other forming collaborative groups so that we spread this message we work in multidisciplinary teams within the hospital so that the best outcomes are achieved it's not a one man show anymore we work with 
different specialties, medical gastroenterology, uh, radiology, pathology, so that the best uh, you know, uh, outcomes can be achieved for our patients. And we're also doing more sub-specialized work. It's basically from general surgery, we moved into gastroenterology, and now we're going into organ-specific uh, disease uh, treatments like colorectal disease or apogee or hepatobiliary or pancreatic. And we use advanced techniques, uh, you know, like laparoscopy, robotics, or newer techniques like transient TME for, you know, rectal cancer in particular, where we avoid these permanent stomas because that's a very important thing when you're treating rectal cancer problems. Uh, in our own institute, uh, we, we, we are three, four years down the line now with subspecialist unit. We are well-trained surgeons. Uh, we, we are a very busy unit. And we offer, we offer services for all colorectal problems, both cancer and non-cancer. More importantly, uh, this year around, every year we launch new services part of the institute. This year we're launching the Apollo Incontinence and Pelvic Floor Center. This is very important for women of this city because, uh, you know, after childbirth, 40% of women will have some symptoms of incontinence or pelvic floor dysfunction. And, and you know, and these people need to be checked because when you have normal childbirth, you will have some damage to the pelvic floor and whether it's irreversible or reversible or is it causing symptoms need to be checked. So that needs to be assessed in a specialist unit. The problem is women might think it is a normal thing to have, but I think it has to be assessed to see if there is any long lasting damage and how we can help it. Sometimes just physiotherapy will help it. And sometimes you may need a little bit of surgery, but again, most of it is just counseling and physiotherapy, And but it needs to be managed by a specialist group of people, uh, like urogynecologists, medical gastrointestinal, colorectal surgeons. We are having a dedicated hotline number for women to, you know, if they are embarrassed, they can speak to this nurse uh, on this particular number, and they have a physician assistant and a female urogynecologist who will uh, assess them, and then if, you know, if uh, we guys need to have a look surgeon. So we're also collaborating with the best centers in the world, uh, we have uh, colleagues from Cleveland Clinic, they cheat for our patients. Uh, so we also hold our annual colorectal symposium because, and this is our third year and we're very proud of it because it's one of its kind. We get the best uh, physicians and surgeons who deal with colorectal disease from around the world to come and talk to us. Uh, and this year we've had more than 500 registrations, which is phenomenal, uh, you know, because it's only a third year in the, of this program. And, and, and we have uh, some of the best physicians in the world coming and talking to our junior doctors and trainees and you know and, and even senior consultants. So this year the focus is going to be on colorectal cancer because a lot is changing and evolving new techniques, technology, robotics, transanal TME, laparoscopy, CME. Uh. Frankie, it's uh, a pleasure and an honor to continue to be involved uh, since the inception in our third annual uh, International Colorectal Disease Meeting here, and it is becoming international this year, and we have large contingents coming from Bangladesh and Sri Lanka and elsewhere, Singapore, elsewhere in Asia, and I suspect over the years we're going to start attracting people from all over the world, over 500 registrants. Uh, thanks uh, to Sangeeta and the rest of the family and the Apollo Hospitals group for the fantastic support. We couldn't do it otherwise, but it, it's more than just a meeting. Uh, it's a relationship, as you've heard, a relationship with a number of top hospitals around the world. Uh, and we uh, thank the chairman and the rest of uh, Ms. Reddy and everybody else for the support, because it's really important, the liaison we have with, with Cleveland Clinic, main campus, Florida, um, with the AIS channel in Spain that we've had for several years and University College London, that there's a constant flow of ideas. It's not once a year, but it's having each other to the various institutions throughout the year, starting to exchange residents, collaborating together on research projects, on, on manuscripts, uh, and working together to improve the care of patients throughout the world. So ideally, the evaluation and the treatment of a patient in Chennai is going to be no different than it is in uh, London or West End or Ohio or uh, Barcelona or elsewhere um, with, uh, with the continued collaboration. That's a commitment that, that all of us have and we're expanding the pool as you've heard with, with Orlando and uh, and uh, St. Mark's in London and, and Istanbul. We're continuing to expand our, our global uh, sphere of, of collaboration for the betterment of what's going on at Apollo Hospitals. Um, one new thing since we've last been here, besides for speaking about rectal cancer and colon cancer, is the pelvic floor unit. Uh, and Dr. Munakrishnan mentioned the importance of, of pelvic floor. That is also a global e epidemic. 
It's a silent one. Uh, it's not a killer as colon cancer, but it is silent. People speak very freely about breast cancer. People speak about a lot of things. Colon cancer doesn't tend to be one of them, and fecal incontinence is even less. So as people have pelvic floor problems, which might be fecal incontinence, might be constipation, might be rectal pain, uh, all kinds of different things that occur to the pelvic floor. Those are, are things that people may not realize can be fixed. A lot of people, for example, who don't have good control of their uh, motions think that they're gonna end up with a bag because nothing else can be done. And in this day and age, that's not true. But in order to uh, arrive upon a treatment which is optimal, so the minimal amount of disfigurement, uh, minimal risk of complications, and the maximal risk of improving quality of life, it's imperative that those patients be evaluated and managed at a tertiary referral center with a multidisciplinary team as now exists at Apollo, launched this year, where it's a combination of gastroenterologist, the physician, the, the colorectal surgeon, as well as the other elements, neurology and uh, imaging with biofeedback therapy to then be able to implement the appropriate services as well as mental health support when necessary. So the idea of the multidisciplinary team going through not just cancer but also pelvic floor and morphing into other areas, I'm sure the same will occur here. There's more inflammatory bowel diseases now being seen another area where, where Apollo will lead the way in multidisciplinary efforts. Um, so what's being done here every March is, is just a little tiny biopsy, what you will, of what goes on 365 days a year. Um, <clears throat> between Dr. Munakrishnan and, and all of us who are always available to work with him, to help him, and, and to, again, try and ensure that the best practices are, are available here. But again, it's clear to me, having just visited the phenomenal new Proton Center today, that no matter how bright he is and, and how energetic he is and how advanced and innovative his ideas are, none of it could come to fruition and the uh, patients, the population, the citizens of India could not get the kind of care available elsewhere if it weren't for the commitment of the Apollo Hospitals Group because it takes resources and it takes believing in that shared mission more than just having it. So uh, I congratulate you again, Venki. Thanks for having me. And uh, again, thanks to the uh, Apollo Hospitals group for making Venki's dream and, and, and ours into a reality. Delph, as chair of the Digestive Disease and Surgery Institute for the clinic, and Dr. Steele, one of my colleagues in Cleveland, and our colleagues from St. Mark's in London and from Istanbul, from Orlando, it's really uh, a pleasure to be here. So I've got to as well congratulate Dr. Munakrishnan on his vision uh, and thank uh, Preetha Riddhi Reddy uh, and the Reddy family uh, for their vision in supporting a conference like this. At the end of the day, I think what uh, Dr. Munakrishnan highlighted most importantly at the start of his talk is that this is about the patient. And this is about improving how you in India can care for patients. So we are also in the US in the middle of a colorectal cancer awareness month. And I can think of a patient I just saw in my clinic earlier this week who was 45 and he had bleeding going on for a year and it was presumed to be hemorrhoids or piles. And in fact he had an advanced rectal cancer and needed many surgeries and chemotherapy and sadly for him he's probably not going to not going to survive this so the awareness uh, that Venki was talking about is really critical if we're going to improve how patients do so one of our joys in being at a conference like this is the ability to collaborate and communicate uh, with specialists from around the world and uh, so we as a group are growing like you with hospitals in Ohio and the US and we're expanding uh, through Abu Dhabi and London and other places. And it's through doing international collaborations like this and then collaborating with other centers around the world, like you have here in the Apollo Group, uh, that we can really improve the standard of care that we bring to patients. So we had the privilege this morning of seeing the new hospital with the Proton Center, and it's absolutely outstanding. This is uh, an absolutely first-rate center uh, that's allowing the Apollo Group bring really high standards of care. Uh, to the local, national, and even international community here. 
Uh, and then finally, I think what you're seeing is this coalescence of resources and people and skill sets that's been brought in um, by the Reddy family and the Apollo group, uh, typified by what uh, Venki has done with colorectal surgery. Because if you're going to manage these complex conditions, you need different types of specialists. From medical gastroenterologists to colorectal surgeons. And having the specialty trained surgeons is really important. Somebody who doesn't have the particular experience of a colorectal surgeon for colorectal cancer, for example, just won't have the right perspective managing the most complex conditions, whether it's cancer or whether it's pelvic floor. And I think you should all be very proud here of the group that's been put together uh, by Apollo and by the team here. So again, thank you for the privilege of being here and congratulations on all that has been accomplished. If not, I can you know, come and individually talk to you. Thank you. Vanakam, I'm Dr. Venkatesh Munikrishnan. I'm a colorectal surgeon at Apollo Main Hospital. In the month of March, we have the awareness month. Uh, in the Prachana and the Wolagam Murusum uh Murudam Peri Prachana I Trike, uh Siri in the Mudir Varika Lari and Badik, the Mukiman and a symptoms and pathing an aka uh Malatala Ratam uh send the povade, Malam Karipadil Prachana, uh anemia, Ratha Sogai, Ilade uh Vai Vaitu Vali, La Vital or Katri, uh the Lamir Kalam, uh Irunda Naka or Nala or Vartala the Seriagalena. நீங்க ஒரு மருத்துவரை அணுகி அதை செக் பண்ணிக்கணும் ஏனா என்ன பெரிய பிரச்சனைனு பாத்தீங்கன்னா மக்கள் வந்து இத வந்து உதாசீனப்படுத்துவாங்க இத வந்து மூலமா இருக்கலாம் இல்ல பைல்ஸ் இருக்கலாம் அப்படியே விட்டுருவாங்க இல்லட்டி ஏதா மருந்து வாங்கி சாப்பிட்டுவாங்க ஒவ்வொரு வாரமும் நாங்க ஏதா ஒரு பேஷியன்ட் வந்து இந்த மாதிரி ட்ரீட் பண்ணி சரியாக uh, in the Putunoya treat and Palam Varigal Unde, open surgery, uh, laparoscopy, more recent uh, robotic surgery, on the Mega Tuliamana surgery, blood loss kami, uh, complications are less, so it's, it's uh, other than next stage. Uh, 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 we are starting a new service, uh, Apollo Main Hospital, a pair on the uh, pelvic floor center and center for incontinence. Uh, 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 particularly when the magali ra badi ko, angay na symptoms solu ang na ka tumana ka, irumana ka, urine leak ka, the stool leak ka, the motion leak ka dun ang angay. The most common ay ay na ka pregnancy the delivery ana pero gan the asnat chutir ka tasagil badi ka patte, uh, the weakness vanda naala dun varla. So majority nare ay pera dun vanda dun ke na treatment na teriyam ay adabre uzasin na patro aladi veli na chulla mudiyam rupang ang. That is a special center. That is the number of 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 the uh, it depends. If insurance law will under the insurance covers that. Uh, 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 government hospital treat pondro, private hospital treat pondro. So open surgery na mirkele rumba cheap. Like, minimal in laparoscopy, matrum robotics na konye expensive. But enna na, nengar kena sonda mari specialista, uh, you know, colorectal oil la or organ specific ka pandam na expertise jaise na vireva seela. Naala complications kamya arko, cost kamya ago. Or two, 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 Current scenario, current scenario, and the local United. Rumba Adigaman on the North India because of Naray meat sabudwanga. Naray meat sabudwanga. Number is on the number on the Naray vegetable sabudra, sweet salmon sabudra, but in the Prussian about Naray fast food sabdar mucho. Obesity jasiache, woodal perman jasti are smoking, youngsters, Ilvaram Banan Solorla, but smoking along the culturally acceptable at Chenari alcohols operate. So you have to uh, cut down on that. Sir, and I 
ஜென்ரலாக வந்து நிறைய தண்ணி குடிக்கணும் எக்ஸசைஸ் பண்ணணும் உடற்பயிற்சி ரொம்ப முக்கியம் ஹெல்த்தியாக சாப்பிட்ணும் ஸ்மோக்கிங் ஸ்டாப் பண்ணணும் ஆல்கோஹால்லாம் கம்மி பண்ணணும் ரெட் மீட் இன்னும் அதை அவாய்ட் பண்ணுறது ஃபிஷ்ஷு சிக்கன் அதெல்லாம் பரவாயில்ல ரெட் மீட் அவாய்ட் பண்ணுறது பெட்டர் ரொம்ப முக்கியமான விஷயம் ஜென்ரலி நாட் ஃபிஷ் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி மோஸ்ட் ஒன் ஆஃப் த ஹெல்த்தியஸ்ட் ஃபுட் ஃபிஷ்ஷு நான் சொல்ல ரெட் மீட் மோஸ்ட் காமன் கேன்சர் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா லங் கேன்சர் பிரெஸ்ட் கேன்சர் கோலான் கேன்சர் இஸ் இஸ் யூனோ இன்க்ரீசிங் ஸோ இதுதான் ஸோ அடையா ஸோ காஸ்ட்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இப்போ ஜென்ரல் வார்டில் இன்னும் கம் கம்மியாக பண்ணலாம் பேஷண்ட்ஸ் வந்து ஒன்று ஜெ நம்ம கவர்மெண்ட் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் போகலாம் இல்லை இந்த காப்பீட்டு திட்டம் யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் இல்லைனாக்கா ஜென்ரல் வார்டில் காஸ்ட் கம்மியாக இருக்கும் ப்ரைவேட் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் ஸோ தெர் ஆர் மல்டிப்புள் வேஸ் டு டூ இட் அதனால் யூனோ தே வில் ஃபைன் ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் எங்கேயாவது ஒரு இடத்துல என் பேர் டாக்டர் வெங்கடேஷ் முனிகிருஷ்ணன் கன்ச பெருங்குடல் மற்றும் மலக்குடல் சிகிச்சை நிபுணர் ஓகே சார் தேங்க்யூ தேங்க்யூ சார்